most people, when they hear skeleton museum, they have no idea what to expect, but we actually approach it from a very educational perspective. Osteology is the study of bones, skulls, and skeletons, and visitors will see just that through thousands of different specimens. It's really for people who love animals and are interested in the environment and all the animals that inhabit the world today. The museum focuses on the form and function of the skeletal system. So when you come to visit, you can see more than 450 real skeletons from animals from all over the world. All of the skeletons we have are donated to us from animals who had lived their lives at zoos, nature preserves, sanctuaries, aquariums, rehabilitation centers. Most of the skeletons you see are from animals still living today, from mice and primates to a giraffe and even a 40-foot humpback whale. They tend to learn better when they're doing something as opposed to just sitting at a desk. Crystal Moser brought her kids here for the first time and did the scavenger hunt. Definitely made the kids look more closely, you know, at reading the things <laughs> and being interested and then having them question some of it too, not just walking by and looking. I really liked like the wolves and the cheetahs and stuff because those are like my favorite animals and stuff. The seeing those are pretty cool. A lot of the younger kids, they really like to go to the animals that they know and are familiar with. So lions and tigers and bears. The museum opened in 2010, showcasing the private collection of Jay Villamoret, who started collecting bones after finding a dog skull in the woods when he was just seven years old. It took seven and a half years to build all the skeletons in the exhibits, all done by the museum's parent company, Skulls Unlimited. And with a remodeling of the exhibits underway, more are being added all the time, including this new one focused on human forensics and anatomy. So in that exhibit, we talk about different medical preparations, different pathologies and trauma. We study diseases on bone, basically how um, wounds and different conditions affect healthy bone. It holds skulls of children and adults, and even that of Jay, the museum founder, whom some are shocked to find out is still living. It was very hot, odd to hold my skull. Don't worry, this one is a replica. Yes, this, this skull here is actually a 3D printing of my own skull. It's something that I always wanted to do, uh, was to hold my own skull. And of course, it's very difficult to do when you're still using it. A self-taught osteologist himself, Jay hopes by studying these animals, it will lead to conservation for the future. It's my hope and dream that people leave here with a little more knowledge than they came with. People commonly ask us if this is a place that my four-year-old's gonna enjoy, and my answer is 100%, always. People really seem to enjoy what they have to see here. Discovering Oklahoma and Oklahoma City, I'm Deanne Stein.